usually I do reviews for full software if it's not a physical product such as a USB charger. If I do software, it's normally full software, not plugins. Having said that, I have done some audio editor plugins, but this is the first video editor plugin I've done. And it is for Slice X and Tr Track X. You can find Slice X here under the effects panel, then look for it in the list under the videos. It's under the video section of plugins under effects. Then we can go over to here. This is the generators browser and you tend to have not as many options listed here. So you should be able to fairly quickly, fairly easily find track X. Let's start with effects. Let's find Slice X, and here we are. We have a blur shape mask, a color correction shape mask, a depth of field shape mask, an object remover, which is interesting. So say there is a plane in the sky, whatever, you can easily remove that object from your video. Then you have a pixelate shape mask. What this basically is would be, it would be to do, uh, Things like blur out people's faces, like say in a, some type of documentary, like say Cops, you can blur out a person's face to hide their identity. It doesn't have to be people's faces, of course. And in this, and in this example, since this, uh, since my reviews, I don't tend to show my face. I tend to just unbox and show the product. I'm going to demonstrate in a minute the pixelate shape mask, but to blur out a logo. Now, I don't actually blur out logos of products, of course, but as an example, I will blur out the logo on this box. We also have a shape mask layer, a skin fix shape mask, and a vignette shape mask. Now, let's just check out one of them. Let's drag this one onto the clip you want. There we go. As you can see, a bit blurry here. Well, let's move it around. We can drag it around all we want. We don't have to use any sort of numbers in the panel. We can be as inaccurate as we like and just drag it the shape around to get the shape and size we want. Of course, if you do want to go a little further than that, it'd be a bit more accurate. We have lots of options on the panel, which is found here under the inspector. In fact, it's lagging out a little bit, not because of the plugin, but because I have some software in the background. I'm going to close the web browser and a few things and come right back. Now, to bear in mind, I'm only on a MacBook, so I'm not on a desktop computer, and I am trying to record the screen capture and have a video editor open with Dragon effects, which is trying to render them at the same time. So that is why I've got a bit of a lag situation here. In fact, I'm going to just stop this rendering here a minute because it's going to cause a lot of trouble. Okay, so once you drag it where you want it, it's too big, but like I say, because of the lagging problem, I'm not going to be too detailed, too thorough, or too thorough here. Let's just, um, let's forget about that. Right. Let's say we blurred out a logo or a person's face. We can have a look here. We can do different shapes. So we've got standard shape. We have some other uh, masking options here. This can also be drug around if it's in a way of some of the image here. Like if this is overlapping your video, you can drag it around. Now, if you want to deal with your tracking options, you click this button here. If you want to register, say you've installed your trial and you buy the program, you hit the key button. But let's click down here. This brings up the tracking options. From here, you can have tracking model. You can have translate, scale, rotate, or perspective. We have tracking quality. I'm actually going to probably put it on low just in case it helps with our lagging problem. We have drift compensation, and that is off by default. We can always do 5, 10, 20, 50, 100. We have tracking processing. We have tracking depth and how smooth. Motion blur. And you can have low, medium, high or off for that. Let's just cancel. You have help here as well. Now let's look at the options for the shape mask in the inspector. Well, let's close the effects panel just in case it helps with the lag. Right. This is all the options here. It's under effects, under video. We have pixel scale. 
Now that changes the size of that pixelation. So the pixels can be either lots of little small ones or a few big sort of pixels. That, that's how you do that there. There's also shape smoothness from here. There is also position for the position on the screen where that mask is. There is scale on the X axis or Y. There is rotation, there is an, the anchor and the roundness of the shape. So you can adjust the roundness of that mask from there. Now, mostly similar options for the rest of these. So let's just uh, ignore the rest of these for now. And let's just take a look at track X because that is where you go to really deal with your tracking side of things. So let's go to, whoops, I meant to go here, which is the generators browser. Then you select the program, in this case, C2 track X. You have a simple tracker, a track layer, or track text. So you can track text, which would be good for maybe, say, an intro to a movie. You can track your text and yeah, that from there. Let's look at the simple tracker. Drag and drop it onto the screen. Let's just put it here. So it, you pop it on over the top, so it kind of looks like a uh, text layer, a track, a um, title layer. So it kind of looks like a title layer. Now let's have a look. Track X. Whoops. Choose a shape on the left to create a track shape. Replace this image by selecting the insert layer image well and dropping in the clip you wish to insert. Press track forward or backwards. Adjust offsets using the parameters window. So this is where here you'd insert an image. Let me just insert one quickly. I've just inserted a random image here just to put anything on. Transform, position only, or you can transform by position and scale, position and rotation, position, rotation and scale. Let's leave it on default. We then have offset type, relative to track or absolute. We then have the offset via the x-axis or the y-axis or scale, the offset. We then have rotation by x or y or z-axis. So then if we click on the actual object, which which basically would be like, it looks almost like you select a text layer. Let's just click on it. Now up here we can see the image that we have inserted. The model number. Over here. Um, HT if you, UH010. Familiar, Let's open it up. From looking at the other shape uh, in the effects. Well, okay, we presented we straight away with the device. Same tools. We have various shape tools, and we have preferences, and we have our registration. We also have help here, so let's click tracking options. As you can see, pretty much the exact same dialog as in pixel mask here, so let's not worry about looking at that. Here is the image from the image well. Let's try and play this. It's got a lag. This is not the plugin. This is not Final Cut Pro 10 that's doing it. It's purely because I'm recording on a laptop. It's having a little bit of a struggle here. Now let's go back and have a look. Let's go back here and have a look at something else. Now let's say we want to do a skin fix shape. You drop it on the same as always. 
it'll also appear here so let's just turn off the shape mask here because it's just getting in the way now we have here skin color okay so let's go here use our eyedropper there I've selected the skin color as easy as that we can also then do skin range using a slider or typing in a number skin softness blur skin key low threshold or high threshold diffuse width diffusion mix overlay shape softness position scale x-axis y-axis rotation anchor and roundness again we can move this to where say our skin is and adjust the shapes using our anchors as well here you can drag it around like you could with the other ones you can use the different shapes here and you can click here of course to get the tracking preferences up like you can in the rest so why would you want this tool well first start the first thing I showed you was the pixelization what if you're doing a documentary and you're interviewing somebody in the street and you want to get rid of some people in the background because you haven't got their permission so you want to cover yourself a bit there you could use this to track their faces and use a pixelization on them that's just one example another example would be special effects you could use this to track somebody's eyes and have them change say they might have just died turned in a zombie you could change their eyes to white or say they're a vampire or a demon whatever you might say want to make their eyes turn over uh, either like an animal like a snake sort of eyes or maybe make them glow red you could use this TrackX plugin in fact there's another plugin type thing I'm going to review for Final Cut and it will work with other programs as well which gives you basically things like a set of objects such as say cat eyes, snake eyes, various skin effects, cuts, things like that and it's called Monster Toolkit. It's by a different company than this so I don't want to go into it too much in this review but that, that is something that they actually recommend on their site. Um, well they don't necessarily recommend it but they mention Slice X as a tool that will work in conjunction with Monster Toolkit because you need a way you can't just get Monster Toolkit you need a way to track objects to apply it to people's faces or eyes so this would work well in conjunction with some special effects like skin being scraped, cut going ash ashen when they die or glowing red eyes whatever so if you are making say a short film or making your own independent film and especially if it's a horror then maybe that toolkit toolkit along with slice x would be a good combination to add some basic little effects to a uh, project you're working on that you have no budget for so you have a very limited budget you might be able to afford this plugin and the other plugin but you can't really afford to go really flashy with it this is a good way to relatively inexpensively use object tracking in premiere pro or final cut and then apply a special effect so yes i do recommend you check it out get the trial at least that's the thing about what i like about this is it does have a trial not all plugins do which is really annoying especially when some plugins cost an absolute fortune so this plugin does have a trial so you go to their website download the trial uh, read tutorials and help files or whatever if you're not sure how to use it get familiar with it if you find you can use it really easy to say turn a actor's face into a vampire face or a zombie face whatever you're doing then you can always once you've you know you know it works for you you can then move on and actually buy it and maybe buy some special effects or special effects graphics such as uh, demon eyes or whatever and use in conjunction with this so i really recommend this for low budget filmmaking or documentary filmmaking where you need a way to blur out somebody's face in a documentary or to change a person's face into a zombie or werewolf whatever inexpensively and track their objects track the face whatever 
really worth looking into track x and slice x and yes if you get track x and slice x i do believe i'd have to double check and i can always put it in a caption here but i believe that you but when you buy one you get both so definitely go look at the trial download it give the trial a shot and the help files and any tutorials use youtube use the net as well as their own resources get familiar with it and i think you'll be happy so keep an eye out for that review for monster toolkit coming soon on my channel Thanks for watching, please like and share this video and if you could do me a huge favour and subscribe as it will help me out a lot and it only takes a few seconds. Thanks.